when you're out trail riding, you need to take a bum bag with you. Why? It's not worth pushing your bike back kilometres and kilometres because you haven't got the gear to fix your bike on the trail. The simple things need fixing, you need to fix the go things. The stop things can you worry about when you get home, the go things are the important, like fixing your chain, your tyres and bits and pieces. So don't forget you've got your fire extinguisher you need for most New Zealand forests, your plug spanner and of course you need your plug as well which is in a protective case so that you don't have it all muddy and dirty or wet. You're going to have a puncher, you need air bottles to blow it up, you need to take a tube with you. So put a front tube, a 21 inch tube, you can squeeze it into the back of an 18 or 19 inch wheel or put it in the front of a 21 inch wheel. So take a 21 inch thin tube, you don't need a thick one, it'll get you home. Here's your air bottles, they'll get you back. You invent the adapter, you screw it on, that goes onto your tyre and pumps your tyre up. Really simple, buy them from all good bike shops. Innovations. To be able to change the tube, you need levers. Here we go here. Tyre levers with the axle nuts on the end of them. Saves having two sets of tools. We always carry a good set of wire cutters. There's nothing worse than getting wire around your wheel and jammed and you can't get out. Decent wire cutters will get you out of there. I always throw in a, a multi-spanner, a crescent. It's easy for having lock nuts, etc. like that, on the other side of, the, of a spanner when you, when you need them. Screwdriver, use one of those reversible ones, it's a flathead and a Phillips head. And take a few sets of spanners, different types for different size bikes. Check your bike out what side you'd use. Some have 13s, some have 12s, 10s, 8s. Make sure you've got the bike, the spanner, to cover your bike. I always carry 10 bucks with me. Why? You can always borrow some petrol, buy some oil, buy bits and pieces, spark plugs if you need them. You never know when you need it. And here, on the side, I carry a chain link, a spare chain link, a dry cloth, wiping your goggles, or anything you need to wipe to keep clean, and some hand wipes. It gets the grease off your hands if you've been changing your chain or getting all filthy, so you don't have to worry about getting really dirty and clean yourself up. A dry one's important, as I say, for your goggles. And the other side I usually carry an assortment of nuts and bolts. These are important because you never know what's going to fall off and you put them back on and get you home really easily. And in the front segment of this particular bum bag I keep cable ties. Really invaluable for holding plastics together and, and pieces like that when the bike starts falling to bits. When using your bum bag and your tools a good idea is when you're taking nuts and bolts out, use them, put them in the top of the bum bag flap there so you don't lose them. It's easy to put them on the grass, you'll never find them. Put all your gear, your tools and things in there when you're using the bum bag. Most often I find I use the tools for somebody else's bikes, which is really good because that means your bike's well prepared. So carry your gear, use it for somebody else and you'll be right. It's the old story. If you haven't got it, you need it.